I think they look quite smart. We could pop a fireplace in there. So, sofa talk. Is that a big one? I love this ribbon. This is the one I'm a bit nervous Where's that about. From? Okay, I just hung these copper pots up on the wall. And some bits from Fortnum and Mason. This is the Fortnum and Mason cookbook. Welcome back to the last vlog 2023, which feels quite crazy to say. It's been, I'm going to say, one of the best years of my life. And I took yesterday to just like reflect on the whole year. And I got, I'm even getting emotional talking about it now because if I didn't see this, any of this happening this year as much as like we were really hoping it did. And in turn, with moving home and feeling the most settled I've ever felt in my life and feeling safe. It's kind of put everything in perspective of just how unbelievably grateful and lucky that I am. And I currently feel to have the support that I do online. I feel like we've built the most beautiful community and I just, I just, yeah, I feel so unbelievably grateful that we're ending the year in the most just beautiful way. Um, so I thought I would film a vlog today, tomorrow and Friday and sandwich it all in and pop it up just before Christmas. So if you, I know for Christmas some people love it and they have all of their family together but I know a lot of people do struggle with Christmas and um, you know when your families are separated or um, you know it, it's the Christmas is no, there's no perfect Christmas for anyone out there really so I thought a vlog would be nice to just pop up so if you do want to watch it I can keep you company if that's so today is the 20th of December so it's five days till Christmas and I got a couple of things left just to wrap up for the year not physically wrap up just to do um, one of them being let me grab them Zara's family are obviously coming to London for Christmas and she's really excited because it's their first Christmas away from their home ever and obviously Zara's really excited to host. So Zara's nana gave us these um, 200 white LED solar string lights and I have been saying that I'm going to pop them on the giant tree in our garden and thus far I haven't gotten around to doing that so that's going to be today's task because I feel like why not <laughs> and um, I'm up for a challenge also. A couple of you have pointed out these light fittings now they don't bother us they really haven't however I think we are in a bit of a crossroads with this kitchen because naturally we don't really want to do too much to the space and obviously with having the leak that we did and we thought we got it sorted but it seems to have come back and um, obviously things like this don't look particularly nice, but it's all fine. So we have had it sealed, but it's not the most aesthetically nice thing to look at, but it's absolutely fine and so livable. So we are gonna get a roof out in the new year to fully take this off, see what the issue is, and just try and find some kind of solution. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a patch job because obviously we don't wanna spend too much money because in time, this whole kitchen will be getting changed I say in time, in, you know, two years plus, um, we need to replan our savings <laughs> massively to do a kitchen job like that. But yeah, I'll be talking about that in a separate video. But we can do small changes to try and make a little bit more of an impact. So the kitchen's all going to be staying the same. We were going to change the tiles, but now that we're in, we actually really quite like them. But the light fittings definitely can change. So we're going to unscrew these and have ordered some reeded glass pendant lights. So one for either of the light fittings. So I need to go and collect them. They were relatively inexpensive. They were 18 pounds and I was looking online just to get some like lampshades to go on there, but they just, they were like, they were around 10 pounds and I found some in the charity shop, but I just didn't really love them. And I'd rather spend a tiny little bit more and love something for a couple of years than buy something cheap and maybe look to replace it in a couple of months. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go and collect those. Um, we're gonna go and see Wonka this evening, which I'm so excited about. It's been on our list that we really wanted to see it. Um, it's a nice like, Christmas film. Obviously, it's got 
Timothy Sha- Sha- Chalamet? 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 Timothy Chalamet. I think that's how you say his name. So yeah, that's going to be really lovely. It's like a nice little Christmas film, so it's me and Zara going. And then, um, yeah, for the rest of the week, we've got our new sofa arriving on Friday, which is a bit of a stress. So we didn't anticipate the delivery this side of the year. And trying to get rid of two sofas has proven very difficult because obviously people are settling down for Christmas. And yeah, they just don't really need sofas at the moment so we've listed them online just free to collect but it's really strange they've just not had that much interest which is fine it's just quite tricky because we've got our sofa arriving on friday and currently have two sofas that need to go to a new home so so it's slightly tricky in terms of logistics so we're going to have a three-seater and potentially two more sofas in the house but i hope this person comes through to collect them today so yeah, that's today. It's just gonna be a bit of a tot around and you've got the recycling center just to drop off some cardboard boxes. We're winding down and just getting ready for Christmas in the nicest possible way. I've been having a bit of a play around with these shelves as well and um, I'm thinking I can go and grab some command hooks and just stick them on the sides of the shelf and so we can hang things like this up just to add a bit more interest to break up the white. Maybe grab a couple to hang these pots up as well. I think it could just look quite cool as well just to make more of a space that looks less busy and more considered so how absolutely stunning are these flowers they're so pretty so zara picked these up from the station yesterday on our way back from work and i just intertwined them with some of the foliage that i had from the bunch i got at waitrose so i just think that looks so festive and christmasy and um, yeah, I've just popped it in a really low vase. I just need to swap out the water because some of the leaves have fallen down. But I just think that is so beautiful and it's a real nice pop of color. I also swapped out the box that was up here. <laughs> Someone commented saying that the box makes the kitchen feel quite unfinished. And um, the box is actually just holding some cans of beer if guests come around and they want a beer or a cider. So I actually found these in the charity shop. They were four pounds each and they're a nice, um, like a, wicker baskets they've got the handle on the side so you can just lift them down so yeah i think they look slightly less annoying up there there's not really anywhere else they can go but i understand why that would be annoying in the back of filming but uh yeah i really like them now i think they're quite a nice touch that is one thing with this house there is minimal storage it's the loft or that's pretty much it we have one understairs cupboard and one cupboard on the landing and that is it there's no other cupboard so Things have to kind of find a home, whereas in our old flat, the storage was amazing. There was literally cupboards everywhere. So yeah, but we have the loft, so it just means going up and down a bit more. Okay, so this is the last of the recycling. It's looking like a bit of a furniture store in here at the minute. <laughs> Trying not to panic. So obviously when the sofa goes, the armchairs will go there and it will all be fine. But for the moment, it's just, it's looking a lot, but that's okay. This needs to go in the car and off to the recycling center we go. Okay, I've just been to the recycling center and I am now on the way to pick up the lights for the kitchen. And I'm playing Christmas songs because the anthem is Christmas until the 25th now. I want to hear all of the songs. <laughs> okay, I just collected the lights and I got a little loaf of bread for lunch. I'm done. I'm gonna go back and crack on with the Christmas tree lights. I might be biting off more than I can chew, but God loves a tryer. <laughs> Okay, so these are the pendant lights. I'm really, really hoping that they um, look like they do in the pictures, although these cords are silver and in the images they were black. So that's a question. They're from George Horn. And uh, yeah, 16 pounds, not bad going, but let's see, proof will be in the pudding as they say. Have a look. Oh, instantly see silver. That might be able to be sprayed though. We could spray that black. Okay, so there we are. So we've got the glass lampshade. We just don't have the electric cable, <laughs> which is why I feared. I guess that's not, that's so annoying because it didn't say about. I'm wondering, could we spray? Sorry, I'm just literally thinking on the spot. Could we spray those black rather than replacing them? Because that could work, couldn't it? Um, excuse me, Missy. No, no, get down, thank you. Rather than replacing the actual electric cable, could we just spray those or maybe paint them? That could potentially be an option rather than replacing the whole unit. In terms of the quality though, they are really nice. I think they look quite smart and I think 
up on there, they look lovely. I just need to try and figure out a way to attach them. Okay, so I've just popped one up and do you know what? I actually really quite like them. I think they'd definitely be better with the black cabling um, just because I just think it doesn't exactly look the best. But for now, I think that's actually really nice. I just sent a photo to Zara and she gave them the thumbs up and said that she really liked them and said that yeah, we could just spray paint these, I guess. Maybe if we just do like a paintbrush, because um, I guess to spray paint you need to take them off the ceiling, spray them outside then reinstall them, whereas I think we could just paint these as they are. Okay, well, I've just made lunch. <laughs> I think I just got a bit carried away. I was just like, you know what? We've got loads of cheese left over, loads of pasta, loads of milk. There was some salad that needed eating and a random garlic bread and Zara was on her way home from work. So I was like, do you know what? Let's make lunch. Here we are, delish. Lunch was delicious. I mean, that was a very generous lunch. So, sofa talk. The sofa's arriving on Friday and we still haven't arranged someone to collect ours. It's proven so difficult. I've had a total, let me have a look. 28 inquiries about the sofa and they're proven very difficult to tie down so who knows maybe friday morning someone might come anyway we spent quite a while trying to find a sofa that was gonna fit the space kind of adhere to a decor plan that we haven't quite secured yet but think would work and also is practical with maggie so we ordered samples from a company called Sofa Sofa. We also ordered samples from John Lewis and Swoon. So we did three sample choices and didn't go for any of them. <laughs> so I've been holding on to these just to talk through the thought process, but they are very similar in that they were all kind of like neutral. So lots of different textures and fabrics, but all around the similar kind of like earthy tones, which naturally when you have a black Labrador probably might sound ludicrous. However, the textures that we were going for and the weaves were really hard wearing and resistant. Almost, um, this one is like a marine, 100% natural recycled fibers. So it's a cotton mix, like a harem born style from, this is from Swoon, I think. Is this Sofa Sofa? No, this is Sofa Sofa. Actually a really great brand. Uh, they're based in Wales, all machine washable. Uh, the cushion covers come off and they're a really lovely texture as well. But again, nothing really fit what we were looking for. They're all coming up quite expensive. However, after much searching online, we found one on um, SCS, which has been going for years. I'm pretty sure and my mum saw this from SCS or DFS, I can't remember. So we found it on Black Friday sale was supposed to be over a thousand pounds and I think we got it. Wasn't it like 350? 30 something, yeah. I think it was about the mid 300s, which is a lot of money, but we also spread the costs over uh, two years. So we're paying a monthly installment for it and got the protection cover as well. And we also got the extra squishy cushions. So it's slightly longer, it's more traditional. So that was the thought process with that, but it took a lot. We were really trying to make a considered decision and not just rush into something. So yeah, it's a neutral color. It's quite similar to, I'd say, Maybe quite similar to this, so it's like a nice, almost quite similar to the lampshade, like a nice natural um, colour. Obviously, we're going to add colour around the house, but we think a nice base is a really good option. So, that's arriving on Friday morning from 7am. <laughs> it's all systems go, guys. Five days of And the next thing I thought I'd show you was from Home Bargains. So, we popped in there the weekend, that was two weekends ago, to try and get some organisation because we're preempting after Christmas just to get the loft in some kind of order. So we saw some of these, so they're like little storage bags, so this is a small wreath storage bag, but obviously you can use them for different things. This is for Christmas lights, I think this is for, yes, yeah, so we've got two for Christmas lights. We might end up using these for baubles, because we've still got the boxes from the Christmas lights. A wreath one, and a gift wrap bag. I think these were all under three pounds each, so really good to just have some organization you can see in them so yeah i'm gonna pop the gift wrap in this because we have think touch wood you ordered them with your christmas wrapping yes i'm ordering with my christmas wrapping too so i think for 2023 we are done
But yeah, I just hung these copper pots up on the wall. I was going to use command hooks, but they were like £5.50 in the shop, so I think they look really nice. It's made more of a space up there. I think it looks a bit more considered now, so that's good. And I was going to hang the board up, but I think it actually looks quite nice just propped there. So yeah, really happy with that. And so for updates, someone is going to come collect them potentially at 5.30. So we are not going to have three sofas and three armchairs at Christmas, thank goodness. <laughs> it was touch and go, but I hope, fingers crossed, this all goes through and someone is going to have two lovely new sofas and we are going to have ours arrive three days before Christmas. Probably not our best timing. Okay, so we've just lifted out one of the sofas and popped it into the hallway and this is kind of like the vibe so far. And um, again, this will be changing obviously and the bookcases won't be black. Um, they'll be obviously built in and had some lovely trim and it will just all come together nicely But yeah, I really like this obviously we're gonna build the second armchair now and pop that there But I think the space looks really lovely Obviously the piano is going on this wall a lot of you left comments about the radiator the radiator is turned off So there's no heat coming from that at all But we will eventually move the radiator on that wall and the piano will be obviously far away I like this. I feel it looks really cozy. It's very nice and warm. Let me turn that big light off yeah, that's lovely. I just gave this wall a little knock. And that is not a solid wall. That is, but I think behind this wall, we could pop a fireplace in there. That is empty. Oh my goodness. The idea was that we'd reinstate a fireplace in here so it would mirror the two. And if we can, I think that would really make that space super cozy with the armchairs next to it. Wow. Okay, this is very good news. The sofas have gone, they went to a really lovely family who live locally actually, so they've got some new sofas which is really nice and we've just popped these armchairs here temporarily until ours arrives on Friday. So we are making pizzas before we go to the cinema because Operation Fridge Clear Out, so we've got some um, passata going on here, this is really lovely passata, it's a moody pizza sauce and then we've got some of this Castello pizza cheese, it's like the best really, pizza cheese. Really, really good pizza cheese. It's just not as watery as regular mozzarella. It's so good. We use some tomato and pepperoni, leftovers from lunch as well, and we're using the Sage pizza oven. I've had this on the channel before, and it's so, so good. It's like an indoor one. Obviously, we've got the outdoor one for summer, which I'm so excited to use. So we're gonna eat pizza and go see Wonka. I'll let you know how it is after. Okay, we're back from watching Wonka. Oh my goodness, I love that. It was so good. It was, um, it wasn't what I expected, but it was kind of like the life before he became Willy Wonka. And I loved it. Timothy Chalamet, fantastic. We're just making ourselves a nighttime tea because we're cool kids. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna hit the hair and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So, today is the 21st of December, for it is still Christmas, and I am playing Santa Claus today. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm running around frantically. So I'm heading to my management offices this morning and I just to drop off some Christmas presents as they thank you very much for looking after me this year. I've got Ewan's presents here. So I'm meeting him afterwards, so we're gonna go and have a little coffee. I think maybe some breakfast could be quite nice. It's still quite early. It's so weird seeing London so empty. Obviously everyone's pretty much gone home for Christmas, so yeah, it's just um it's just us. It's very windy, but I've just dropped off my Christmas presents to my management, and it's really nice to see them. And I got a little parcel as well. I had no idea that this was arriving, so yeah, very lovely to see them all. Wish them all Merry Christmas. So yeah, off on the train now to go and see you. And look who's here. Oh yeah, he is. Hello. Yeah, we're on the new vlog camera. Oh, so, it looks um, so smart. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, my actual one that I dropped is getting delivered today. Uh, they fixed it already, so we've got a backup just the in case. Back. We'll never be without a vlog camera. Um, so we're just having a little coffee. And we're going to do our gift exchange. So you and this bag is a very bright green colour. I love color, it. And I haven't wrote on the tag. Because <laughs> oh. I know that's always the way. Um, but yeah, should I... Um, this is very boring. Oh my god, no, stop it. Yeah, I've wrapped it with There's so it. many lovely things in there. Oh, stop at that. Look at that. Two turtle doves. Uh, oh, what's it? 
it, I never know the song. Oh, no, oh didn't. see? <laughs> this is what I mean. <laughs> We're good, I could reuse that yeah. tag. <laughs> so we've just ordered um, two flat whites and a toasty in your what did you want? Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. Lovely. So I'm gonna open my presents from you and then you has been opening. Should I film you opening yours on your channel? I yeah. always forget how we do this. Or do you mean the other way around? I always forget. How do we normally do it? Both you and I are incredibly I tired and frazzled at this time of year, so our brains are just not. complicated. Um, I think you should open you just want to open your yours on, on your yeah. channel. Yeah, 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 and you open yours on yours. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Merry Christmas, right? there we are. <laughs> if you want to see what I got you and when will your vlog be live? On Sunday? Yeah. Mine too, so yeah, this will yeah. be up. Ewan's will be up. Um, and let us know if you enjoyed the Christmas uh, bar tour as well, because that'll have already gone oh, yeah. live as well. So you're getting double, double Luke and yeah. Mr. Carrington before Christmas. Anyway, gosh, we look very, we, li we need this coffee, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, coffees have just arrived. I think I've actually been to this place in Edinburgh. It's called Soderberg. It's uh, like a Scandinavian um, restaurant coffee shop. I've gone for a mozzarella toast. I haven't had breakfast and it's half past 12, so this is kind of like brunch. It looks delicious. And Ewan has gone for a Danish cinnamon bun. How lovely does that look? I'm not going to show everything, but I just need to show Ewan's wrapping skills. Look how incredible that is. I'm a ribbon reuser for sure, so I'm definitely going to reuse that. Thank you very much, mate. That's beautiful. It's so vintage. Okay, okay. I've just devoured half my toasty and I've opened all of my presents. I'm going to, can I show them when I'm back in like a little Yeah, of course, yeah. I'll show you guys when I'm good idea. The most incredible presents from you and ever, genuinely, top smacks. I love every single one of them equally. There's something for them amazing in there, anthropology. I'm looking forward to seeing how you style them up. I can't wait. Maybe I'll do that in this one as well. Right, here we are. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, oh I, I love, love this bag. I thought it was a bit of you. Where's the bag from? Yeah, I really like um, that. M&S. I love that you didn't write on the label. There we are. It's got a norm. Presents to distribute. Good, so. there we are. Are we like a reuse recycling? Yeah. Right, I can eat my toast Oh, now. look at this. There we are. Mm. Oh my god, look at the wrapping. So we only had a little bit of red left. So you've got a little bit of red. I love this paper. Where's that from? White pumpkins. Very nice. Mm. I'm going to get them all out just so I can see what we're working with. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. I like the bell. Oh, mm. look how nice you look at these. That was the inner. <laughs> of a roll, I think. Yeah, you know the yeah. bit that's wrapped up. Oh yeah, yeah. It's different for the brown. Mr. C. Uh, oh. Yeah. You might have a time left. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, stop it. I absolutely love these. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I really love these. You came in the course of the other, you've got oh to have some of Oh my god. <laughs> That's confusing. One of them I'm not sure you'll like, and if you don't, please do. Oh, what do you mean? There we are. Right, let's start with this one. Indeed. You can start with the big one. I love this ribbon. This is the one I'm a bit nervous about. Where's that about. from? Costco. Oh, amazing. Yeah. All oh. of you and friends from the charity shop. I think these might be ideal for my new machine. Yes. Might be a bit small for your new machine. What? The espresso. Oh, it, does, it makes espresso, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Luke looks so scared. And I was like, oh. <laughs> um, Yeah, Ewan's got a new coffee machine that makes like, big coffees, but makes small coffees. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I think Luke's a nervous gift giver. I am. I get really nervous. <laughs> Andrew Martin. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. The charity shop. Mm -hmm. As if. Yeah. We love a bit of Andrew Martin. Did I leave the price on? Oh, well, they were originally oh, from John We like Lewis. to see the original price. 37 There we go. Oh, stop it. Yeah. Did I not eat the stick around? I thought I did. How much were they in the charity shop? Can we ask? Six pounds. Oh, amazing. Six quid. Was it one near to you? Uh, yeah. Local. Oh, I love yeah, these. I feel like they're quite Oh, no, I quite absolutely tanned. love these. Do you like these will look nice with the cream dresser, won't they, actually? I thought so. Like, like contrasting. No, I like them a lot, actually. It comes with the sauces as well. Oh, wow. I just saw them and I was like, I know, you know. Yeah. You like your bits like that, so. I do. There we are. It's very tight. These like, are quality. It's oh, wow. Stop it. Yeah. Look at that. They're the elephant. It's very Andrew Martin. I feel yeah. Like. Oh, I love these. Are they all the same? Are they all elephants? Um, I didn't check them all. I just checked that they were all. It could be different zoo animals. Yeah, all elephants. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Martin does. We went to the store oh, and I love that. Drawers, and they had um, really vibrant prints and yeah. stuff. It's a really classic British designer. And, uh, I like that because they're very classic but then quirky. Quirky. Yeah. If, honestly, if you don't no, find yourself do. using them, I will. Um, gift them on elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You recognise where this is from. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We got this when we went to um, Sostrenegrene. Oh. It's nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, thank you. There we are. You're very welcome, mate. Yeah. I think it looks yeah, nice yeah, on the mantle. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank Hope you. That's so, so cute. 
This I think you might already have. Potentially, potentially not, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's a book. It is. And I know you do have a lot of books quite similar to me, but this one might be useful. Do you remember the days when it'd be like, I'm guessing it's a CD? Oh my god, yeah. 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 Is it the now CD? <laughs> I used to love the now CD. Yeah. I used to get it every single Christmas. Now that's what I call those with the buttons. And like Sophia Specs are on tape now. Yeah. You might already have this, or at least have had it and gifted it on. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm like. Oh no, oh gosh. <laughs> if that, I did think so, it's a very weird look, but. It looks familiar one. to me, yeah. so I think I might have it or have had it. Oh. But I will check. It That's comes okay. in different iterations, so yeah. it's all of the same kind. It's just that you know what? Very we nice coffee table book. No, no, I love it. I Thank you. Sure. No, there we are. You're very welcome. <laughs> I, do you know what? The viewers will probably know better than I do. Do you, do you ever find that? I was going to say, that, yeah. Like, <laughs> I you know once, what we've got. I once lost something and a viewer very kindly said, I think you need to check in there. And I was like, yeah. how did you know that? Yeah. How did you know I put it there? Brilliant. Because sometimes when you see things condensed in a video, it's easier to remember so than true. So, so in true. real life. In real life. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Yeah. So let me know, have I got this? <laughs> this is a really silly one, but I thought you could use it over Christmas. Yeah. Oh, what is this? This <laughs> is a really silly one. I like the look of this I already. I saw it at the charity shop and I was like, that is such a bit of you. And Oh so my god, like, I think it's like Top Trumps but with cats. <laughs> oh, it's called Cat Chaos. Yeah. Celebrity is it? So like each of the cats is a celebrity, so oh, there's like wow. Darth Vader, Harry Potter, but in cat version. So Harry Potter's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And then we've got the Perminator. Paul, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. David Meowie. <laughs> and Luke what? Luke, Luke Skywhisker. There we are. And it says, are you feline lucky? Oh, I love all these cat yeah, puns. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I will definitely be playing this over Christmas. It's suitable for, I think it said ages over six, eight, eight years plus, so you're in, you're well in should that. should be all right. <laughs> they are a bit okay. different, but I quite, I think they're cool. Is it candles? It is. Hey, I, I can tell by that rattle. Okay. These are a charity shop find. I don't recognise the brand, but they look quite expensive. Ooh. They're only two pounds. You might hate them, or you might love them. Ooh, I like the packaging. Yeah, there you go. They've got no film on them, that's all. Oh, oh wow, I love Do these. Do you think they're cool? So they're tear for candles. I oh, these are so them. posh. I what, you don't recognise Christian Leclerc? No. Luke, that is so posh. Is it? Everybody. That is proper fancy. Is it? Yeah, we need to Google it. Oh, my oh. There we are. Oh, wow. Christian Leclerc. Yeah. They're like, um, Maybe. <laughs> But look at the design. Good, they? they are cool. I saw them and I was like, I feel like they could look I love them. It's like a brass candle holder. I don't know if they smell. I only sniffed them because it says, it says bougies. I thought that maybe meant like a scent or something. Bougie? <laughs> Ensemble de two bougie coniques. Oh my gosh, maybe they came from France. I know they've definitely Set of them two anyway. taper candles. They are stunning. They're quite clean, aren't they? It's like a shame to burn them. I mean, that's it. You could definitely have them as like a decor piece, but. And I they go them. really pointy. Yeah. Oh, another candle. This one has to come out in candle, but I really like the smell of it, so I thought you can have it. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Penhouse. I love a bit of Penhaligan. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I love their candles. Mm. Give it a sniff, see what you oh, think. Oh, what is. I might, probably won't be able to smell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's quite like a nice masculine one. Oh, that's one. nice. Mm. It's just a little burner, but they last quite a while. That's it's a nice small. one for the bedroom. Mm. Oh, Merry Christmas, really man. Don't forget, um, we do this every year, so if you want to watch some previous Christmas gift swaps, I'll oh, link yeah. them in the description box. I think we've done them for the past three years, two years? Yeah. So they'll definitely be on my channel, so I'll link them down below. We, we did it in the pub last year, we did. didn't we? And then I think tour. maybe the time before that we didn't vlog it, but yeah, yeah. we always do it every year. Yeah, yeah. It's just nice. It puts me in a Christmas mood. Yeah, it's so nice. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas, guys. Right, I'll catch you at home when um, I've styled all the bits you and it's got me. Can't wait to show you. So I'm back home from having lunch with you and, and I said I'd show you everything that he gave me. I feel so unbelievably overwhelmed and spoiled. He, the, he do you know, he is brilliant at finding things in car boots here and charity shops. I've, I've honestly never known anything like it. He is a formidable asset. So let me show you. So this I actually saw in his video and I, I just adore it. The aged bronze glass and the decor piece are just ugh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And he's included in anthropology Christmas decoration as well. This is Big Ben and some bits from Fortnum and Mason. This is the Fortnum and Mason cookbook. I've wanted this for years. I've just never 
purchased it for myself and I just think it is beautiful. So I'm going to keep that out and have a flick through. And we've also got some Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend loose leaf tea. What an absolute treat. I need to get a tea strainer because <laughs> I actually don't have one. But that is honestly, the fact that these were both at the car boot sale is just brilliant. And then there is some Harvey Nichols salted caramel sauce here, which is just such a treat. Again, I can't wait to use that on some ice cream. It would be lovely. A London themed Christmas card and some puppy parade chocolates. There's even a little Maggie on there. How amazing is that? This is a Kath Kidson London mug. Again, I just love the print and detail on that. I think that is so gorgeous. And then finally, a bottle of White Company Winter Room Spray. My all-time favorite Christmas festive scent. What an absolute treat. I know I say it every year, but Ewan is just the best when it comes to presents. He really is. He really is. Just got little Maggie here. We're about to take her out for her afternoon walk, aren't we? Before it gets dark. So I just got back from Walker Maggie and I'm having a little decaf coffee and I've already taken a bite of this. This is cinnamon bun panettone from Waitrose. It's delicious. And I'm just having a quick flick through this Fortnum's cookbook. It looks absolutely stunning. Some of these recipes, quite traditional, but just beautiful. I think it's gonna be a real good like one to just go to. All of these sound so nice. Ice cream sundaes. Wow. I'm gonna have a sit and have a little read. Even a classic recipe for scones, which is always good to have. And if I'm going to make a scone, I'm probably going to make a Fortnum and Mason one. We're on operation clear out the fridge for Christmas and we're doing a really... <laughs> we're doing a really good job. There is not really much in here, to be honest. We've got some Brussels sprouts and cucumber. And we've got some celery, a bit of lettuce and a rogue couple of spuds. It's pretty much empty bar some grapes. Half an onion, some orange and some lemon, some butter, more butter and eggs, cheese. These are some Christmas bits as Zara's already got, sauces. We're gonna drink this passion fruit martini this evening. Uh, yeah, doing pretty good. Right, we just did the food shop for Christmas and the great thing about making this ahead of time is that we've come back and dinner is ready in a minute and we drank the leftover pre-mixed martini in a jar. In a, in a, in a bottle, sorry, it's the waitress one. It's really, really nice. Well, good morning. So today is Friday, the 22nd of December. It's actually Christmas in three days. And um, we've just had a text this morning to say our sofa's arriving between 9.45 and 10 a.m. So we've got about an hour and 15, which is very exciting. Zara's working from home today, so we've just set up camp on the dining table. So I'm gonna get this vlog edited when you guys are watching this edited and live for Sunday, so that'll be Christmas Eve. So if you are watching on Christmas Eve, happy Christmas Eve. We've got the little elf in here. Present organization, so this is just, this is ludicrous. I've never seen a tree so full. What do you mean the whole fun of it's so like the scrambling? On Christmas Eve, oh Christmas Day, I'm the present giver. Actor. So you're gonna be sat there on Christmas Day, year, distributing the presents to people. The whole family, my role is handing presents out. Do you not just allow one person to go under and do it themselves? Like it's your turn, do you not take turns? Yeah. Right, okay. So Zara's put together some Christmas Eve um, bags for um, her sister and her brother as well. So they've got matching Christmas gym jams, which is very cute. We have just created the space here. I need to just move these bits. These are for my family and bits and bobs. So this is where the sofa's going to go. So we're going to push this footstool out. And then, um, yeah, sofa's going to be here momentarily. Okay, so I was just sat in the kitchen editing and Zara was hoovering and mopping ahead of the delivery. And... Ta-da! <laughs> Here is the new sofa. We are a bit skeptical on the height. <laughs> it looks quite low at the moment, but I think it's because the legs aren't on it. And once the cushion covers are on, I'm sure it'll be lovely. Take a good look at it in its wrapped up foil because you won't be going on that without any form of protection, especially with your muddy paws. Zara, look, she's having a proper old sniff. She's like, wow. Do you know what you need, Maggie? Socks. Ooh, should we get some house booties? <laughs> Should we get some house boots? Do you want some slippers? You can start by wearing mine. <laughs> so I was upstairs brushing my teeth and Zara's obviously just mopping away and Maggie was barking. She's so reactive to but the door. But she was only doing her little like... Her grunts. Yeah. And then Zara was like, they're here, it's here. I was like, what? Oh, and I'm literally brushing my teeth like, I'm coming. <laughs> I looked out the window, I see S.O.S. <laughs> so I was like, oh ah. no, no, yeah. no. That'll do it. Oh, it's lovely. Go ahead and catch. Yeah. You furniture, have to get.
We are very happy with this indeed. It's so cozy and the back's higher. The reason the old sofa, I mean, look, let's be honest, the old sofa's absolutely fine, but because we've popped the TV on the wall, it felt like your neck was slightly, I there just was know, this, no support. there was nothing. Whereas this, you can literally just, the bottom bit, the base is wider, so you could just, oh. I think the seat is angled it to is. like almost recline, recline rather than our old sofa was an L, whereas I would say this is like. The, yeah, this is the, the previous one's quite cube. This is just, oh my it's goodness. Comfy so comfortable. And the great thing is, as well, because this sofa isn't a colour, it's a neutral. This foot still, we were speaking about, we can have a bit of fun with it. We can definitely maybe get this reupholstered because it's got similar casters to the casters on the sofa. We can definitely get this upholstered in like a nice fabric. Maybe something fun, a little bit quirky and out there because we're going to keep everything really quite muted in here. So I think that could be a really nice fabric choice. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog and I just want to say the biggest thank you to each and every one of you who've watched throughout this year because it's been madness. It's been one of the most beautiful, frantically chaotic Crazy video, crazy videos? God, I know what I'm saying. Crazy years, <laughs> crazy amount of videos. Tears, laughter, joy, and everything in between. So thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Have a fabulous Christmas, no matter what you do. Whether you do celebrate or not, I hope you have a lovely one. I hope you all stay safe and that you have a good rest because that's always important over Christmas. Eat well, be merry, and I will catch you all in 2024. It's quite mad to say, isn't it? Do you have anything to say? Yeah, do you know what today is? The 22nd of December? This is what people call Black Eye Friday. Why? It's the last Friday before Christmas where people usually go out and get really drunk and they get punched. <laughs> That's actually a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and if they're there, I am. Being so genuinely no, like... No, like... Some people just gotta keep it real. Like, come on. I hope you don't get any black eyes. Just don't go out. I was going to go out and I'm not doing no, that. So just sorry. have a lovely time inside and enjoy and lots of love to you all. Maggie, do you have anything you'd like to say to everyone? Or would you like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year? Mum can say it for me. She has become... Did the sofa just drop? Yes. Oh God. Maybe it was just getting comfy. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much guys. Lots of love to you all. Merry Christmas and I'll catch you all in the new year. Take care.